Alrighty. Yes. There we go. Alright, what'd you see? There you go. Yup, it's starting. There we go. Alright, what is everybody what is up everybody? Right, hopefully we got everything working good. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh hey, the life of Adslan Cruz, thank you for the two dollar donation. You've been waiting for this? I've been waiting for this too. Okay, let's see. Did it start? Yes, all right, there we go. What's up guys? How is it going? Garage is empty right now. We're gonna we're gonna populate this in a in a minute here. Get some more get some cars in here, get some trucks in here. Alright, so this live stream is gonna be more for you guys than it is me. Uh, we're gonna see we're just gonna do everything that you guys want to do for probably about an hour or so because then I gotta go eat food because I haven't ate dinner yet. So let's see here. Uh whoa. Did I download the game or did I no, I downloaded it. I downloaded it way back off Steam. Uh, okay, so I could do some orders in here. You guys really haven't ever seen orders. Um, it's just like an easy way to make money. You just go through, you, di you diagnose everything. Uh, yeah, pretty much. You, you're literally a car mechanic. So it brings your car and you fix it. Um, or I can do this. Go to the parking. Actually, I do need to pull something out of parking really quick. Couple people saying do the Mustang. Somebody wants me to do the F-150 1984 version. A bus or a Smith. The Smith is pretty cool. Super, super old time, uh, what do you call it? Old time Ford, basically. Do another Lambo. I could do another Lambo. But I don't know. I don't know, guys, let me know. Can you guys see this stream well? Is it, does it look good or is it lagging or how's it, how's it holding up? Let me know, let me know. Does it look good? Looks great. All right. Oh, thankful. Oh, that's what I was like spending the whole last 30 minutes doing was trying to set everything up correctly because I accidentally deleted all my settings uh, but yeah hopefully it's working all right so first things first guys before we do anything first let me move our power wagon um, and then we'll move our Raptor too we're moving both these back because we are going to be I'm gonna be testing out that off-road track uh, that I just downloaded in the last video I think it was the last video or the video before that um, I don't think it was a video before that but let me go back and show you guys so there is a new track. We tried to drive it with the 1300 horsepower uh, Bronco, not Bronco, not Bronco. What am I saying? Blazer, but we couldn't do it because as you may know, it was like just completely overkill. So we're going to try it with these two first, I think, because they're very similar. This is the Ram 27, this 2017 Ram power wagon, and this is an F-150 Raptor. Yeah, it's 17 Raptor, 17 Power Wagon. So we're going to take, I'm going to take out the, the Raptor first. Let's go to Workshop Maps. Okay, we're going to go here and we're going to see how this is. I haven't explored this track yet and I don't think many people have really seen it. So let's go check out what this is. Okay, let's get back up. Okay, so it is a rally track. Um, I think we'll go right. Hopefully we can actually stay on the course. Last time I tried to do this, you could not stay on the course at all. You just spun out the entire time. Okay, it's not too bad in this, honestly. I've already made it farther up the hill than I did in the uh, blazer. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is a modded map. And I, I don't know if it's... Oh, jeez. Okay, I think it might just be a straight circle around here actually now that I'm looking. I probably should have taken the 4x4. I don't know if this one was 4x4. Oh wow, this thing stretches for a while. Yeah, this is a, like a rally backer map. Come on baby, let's see if we can do this. Oh yeah, this is a really, really, really large map. 
This map is made by one of the, uh, like probably one of the most popular uh, mod creators, I'd say, in this game. Hold on, I'm trying to, trying to stay on the road here. There we go. I'm gonna do one lap in this, and then, uh oh, and then we'll go back, and uh, we'll go back to the shop, and then we'll decide on something to do. I just wanted to take this around and test this, uh, test this track out. Oh, it's definitely. Oh, geez. It's definitely a little bit difficult. Let's see. Justin says he has it on 1080p, but it's still super grainy. All right, here. Once I'm done with this lap really quick. Actually, no. Here, I can do it right now. Here, I'm going to adjust it real quick. I'm going to make it so it'll be a little bit better quality. I think we'll crank this to 4,000. All right, there we go. I turn it up a little bit. It'll take it. Um, oh geez, it'll take it a minute to uh, transfer over, but we'll see if it actually does well. Oh geez. Yeah, four by four. I don't. I I don't know if this is 4x4, but the other 4x4 would have definitely been a little bit better, I think, because the Power Wagon is probably the best one yet. Or that Ram 1500 we have. Oh, there we go. We got a good power slide in. I think we're coming up on the end here, actually. A three-minute lap. This map is huge. He said there was like a rally map, so I was expecting it to be a little bit more off-roady. Um, don't get me wrong, guys. This is completely dirt and mud. Uh, so, it's literally all off-road. But I was expecting there to be like more jumps and stuff. But, this is not too bad. I think we're coming back up here. Is this the start? No, this isn't even the start. Alright, I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of this a little bit better. You just gotta kind of floor it all the way around. Yeah, it's not too not too bad as I crash. Oh come out. And we crashed again. Oh my gosh, here, hold on. I accidentally shut off my chat. There we go. Now I can see. Yeah, the power slide is working pretty good when you go. Aquatic Squad, you want to know what what is what's Diesel Brothers like? What do you do in Diesel Brothers? Okay, so Diesel Brothers is purely a oh I need to pay attention. Oh, we hopped it. It's purely a truck building game. It's not as in depth as Car Mechanic Simulator. Um, and there's only like two or three trucks that you can work on. So it's honestly it's a really really early game. Wow, this just keeps on going and going and going. Uh, but yeah, it's just like purely a, it's a pretty early access game. I don't know. I probably would say I wouldn't recommend it. If you guys look into something, I would definitely get Car Mechanic Simulator over that. Just because it's been out longer. It has much, much, much more mods. Um, the only difference is it's not nearly as more customizable is what Car Mechanic Simulator is. But I mean, it's still fun. Like if you're looking for a game to have fun in, I mean, you can do it in that one for sure. All right, I'm coming up on five minutes here. I'm gonna, I'm probably just gonna exit this because I don't know how long this thing is. This thing goes on for absolutely ever. All right, we're going back to the garage. Jeez, that is, that took forever. Let's back out of this. All right, so I saw a lot of people were saying they wanted me to do the Mustang. Let me move this one over to bay three real quick. So do you guys want me to do, let me show you here. It's a, it's a GT Mustang. It's got the coyote in it. Do you guys want me to do that one? Or yeah, or I could do a Dodge Charger. Yes, Mustang Jeep. Liam wants to see the Jeep. Mustang. 
Uh, is this the is this the one I just picked up? Let me check it really quick. Yeah, this is the Dodge Challenger I just picked up. Okay, what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to see Mustang, uh, 2015 Mustang, or do you want to see like probably like 70, 72 ish Challenger, or we could do the Jeep because I do see a couple people are saying Jeep. All right, you know what? We're gonna do it. We'll just we'll just do Jeep. We'll do Jeep if we have if we have enough time. We'll go back and do Challenger. Yep. All right. Everybody's saying old Jeep. Okay. We'll go. We'll go do old Jeep, then Challenger, and then probably like one of the next videos I do will be the Mustang then, because we haven't done it in a while. All right. Can I change levels? Can I go up a level? Oh wow. They're gonna make me return to the garage and then come back. All right. All right. We're gonna go. We'll do the Jeep. Don't worry, guys. We'll do the Jeep. And then this is the civilian Jeep, I think, not the military version. Okay, there we go. Go back to our parking. Find our Jeep Willys. Move this boy to the garage. Okay, yeah. Plus, I think this will be probably a pretty quick build. This is an inline four single. Is that single carb? Let's check it. Inline four. I don't even know what this is. Just an I four. So yeah, this is military. Everybody's saying military version is much better. The only issue is, is I don't think I have the military here. Hold on. We'll do this really quick. Uh, we'll go to junkyard. I'll do this really quick. I'll make one or two junkyard runs. See if I can find the military version. I don't think I'll find it that easily, but Hey, you never know. Plus junkyard finds are also really, really fun sometimes. All right, loading in. All right, here we are. Okay, so nothing over here, nothing there. I kind of got like a really, here's an old, this is the, Sa it's the Salem, isn't it? Yeah, Salem Spectre. Uh, I have a really good path set up. What is this? Oh, a K5 autocross. I was like, what the heck? Don't need any of this. All right, and see, that's like the loop right there, guys. And then there's nothing here. So we'll go back. Kind of sucks that it just doesn't show up. Uh, can you get the game on the Xbox? You cannot. I don't think you can get this game on the Xbox. I know you can get it on your... No, no, I wouldn't say it on your phone. I don't know if it's on your phone. A, the life at, at Zlan Cruise again with a $1. Thank you very much. Very, very appreciative. Uh, let's go hit this junkyard up again. Uh, Max is out at like 80 miles an hour. How much is the Lambo? The Lambo at junkyard, I think you can get for around two to three hundred thousand dollars. Um, other than that, it'll be uh, I don't know. How much is the Lambo on Steam? It's free. The Lambo is free. You go into the Steam Workshop page uh, for this game, and you can get it. We got a nice Porsche. 911 RS America. Okay. There we go. Nothing here. Yeah, it's really hard to find. Oh, we got a nice setup of three right here. There's a C10. That's a bandit or a bolt roulette. This is a bandit. Another bolt roulette. Here's a Smith 1500 right here. Have not done one of these in quite a while. Hmm. And okay, so there's nothing in the junkyard. So I mean, I can always get another Smith. Don't worry. They're uh, they're pretty common. All right, so we're just gonna do the civilian version for now. Worst case scenario, um, we can just go do another one in another video. Um, but I just want to do this one right now because what is it supposed to look like? It's supposed to just look like that. So, I mean, it says civilian, but all it is is it doesn't have the, the canopy over the top, really. All right, let's move this. Hold on. There we go. All right, so we're probably just going to do a full restoration right now, guys. We'll just do the full thing on stream. Uh, no need to mix it around. Oh, hey, that actually... Oh, I guess this is a 
This is a DLC truck or car, whatever you want to call it. So it does actually touch the frame rails, which is pretty surprising. Usually, usually they're really wonky about it. All right, move this. We'll clean out the interior. We'll try and remove some of the rust off this. So you guys want me to uh, put performance? Let's, cause this, can this be swapped? It can't be swapped, guys, so it's got to be an i4. But I can try and do performance on this. If you guys want me to, I can do performance. We can, we can see what it can do. I mean, what is it stock right here? Horsepower of 60 horsepower stock. You know, you can get that. We might be able to... <laughs> yes, performance. All right, guys. We'll, we'll try and do... We'll try and do some performance on this thing, but it's literally 60 horsepower. So don't be looking for anything big. Probably not even over 100. We won't get this. Hey, Austin and Gabe Taylor, thanks for the $2 super chat. I appreciate it. Like you said, it'll get 80, 80 horsepower. Okay, yeah, you're right. I mean, let's see here. It does not have a lot of parts in it either. 60 horsepower. Yeah, Panda, it's probably not going to get more than 100, though. All right, we'll do it, though. We'll do it. Well, I don't even know if I use this, but we're going to use it again. Okay, get rid of this. All right, so this entire thing is shell, or is the entire thing... Okay, so if, I think if we do this... Use equipment. Yes. Here you go. Wait, Austin and Gabe, is that another $2 Super Chat? Thank you very much. I, I didn't even know if I noticed that. I think that's another one. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. So when I repaired that, it actually... So this says civilian, but this isn't civilian. I mean, okay, it is, but as you can see here, it has camo on it and everything, so it's at least something, not super civilian. The only thing it doesn't have is that tarp on it. I like it, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll move this. I think these are got. Uh, this just has basic rims on it. Let me pop these off really quick. Let's check our inventory. See what these. Oh, it's the Jeep Willys rims. Okay. I know. It doesn't look very civilian, does it? I mean, I guess you could say it could be like decommissioned so they didn't repaint it or something like that. But other than that, I really don't know. All right, I'm going to pop off all the tires first to get a look at the suspension. I think it's just both front front and rear. Uh, what is this? Leaf spring suspension, so it's not really much. Is that the gas tank? That's not the gas tank. That's weird that they have some like a gas tank there, but not usable. Yeah, that is not a civ. I know. But it says civilian. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's pop this bad boy off. I'm pulling off all of the body parts real quick because we will try and repair them and we'll get the uh, body looking nice before we do the engine here real quick. Front grill come off? Nope. All right, I think that's good then. Gold rims. Okay, let's slap back on the things I think we saved. All right, we didn't save that, but we might have saved bumper so it said we have like a special paint on that bumper there uh, let's see it's gonna be maybe it's in here let's see if we got anything in here all right nothing in this spot so it wasn't in body tuning so we'll just, just go here so we'll go with um, Jeep Jeep Willy. Okay, so we'll do the civilian. Actually, is there any difference? There's really no difference between military front window. Yeah, there's really no difference at all. Okay, so we'll stick with the civilian one, though, just because it says civilian. Okay, yeah, so the military one has a couple extra couple extra little things on here guys it's got like I don't know these are weird all right uh, we'll just buy all this front bumper we need 
Front left fender we don't need. All right. There we go. I think we got it all. Is that gray? Okay, yeah. So we'll have to see if there is a library we can put on this whole thing here. I don't know. I have a feeling that there is a library, though, that goes over this entire thing that's just camo. Um... Uh, I'm trying to think of what, what license plate we want to slap on here. I think we may have a military looking license plate for like a hunting one. I mean, eh, I guess we have the browning one. Should we do the browning or the American of the American plate? You guys tell me. Browning or American? America or browning? Look for the first person to say. America, America. Okay, everybody's going American. All right. Um, we're gonna call this Willie's. Let's see. Can we throw one on the rear? Oh, we can't. Oh, and I forgot to put these tail lights on too. I couldn't mess that one up. All right, we'll throw that one on. And this one, Willie's. There we go. Slap this one on the front. There we go. Now we should be at 100% body. Okay, there we go. So now, time to do the motor. Is there? Okay, yeah. Uh, let's go grab our motor puller, our engine puller. Move this over to A. So this is a super, super small. Oh, hey, this is 4 by 4 too. Look at that. But this is a super, super small, I don't know, truck, I guess? Jeep? Super small Jeep? I don't even know if you say Jeeps or trucks or not, but it's a super small Jeep, so it's going to be pretty quick. It's not going to be too terribly difficult, which means the, uh, the performance parts will be really easy. Oh, I know, right, Bradley? If only it was this easy. It's not, though. It's not this easy in real life. Popping all these pieces off. Get this exhaust out of the way. Alright, I think we can pull the engine now. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Pull out. Alright, I think the engine came out without a hitch. Yep, alright, let's take this brake servo out and our radiator. Did this have a front, made up, really a front mounted radiator fan on it? Oh, it's, it's supposed to? I think it's supposed to. All right, well, this thing is already pretty much disassembled, as you guys can see here. So we're just going to tear what's remaining off of it and then uh, start throwing in performance pieces here. Is this just floating? Oh, it's just floating in the air. Yeah, this inline four block here is super tiny, guys. Uh, you gotta make sure you pull off all these brackets. These inline sixes and inline fours always have these weird little brackets sticking out on them. And was there any pistons in there? There's one piston in there. We're not gonna use that piston anyways, but still, there's one. Uh, pop this guy out. crankshaft camshaft and we don't even have to take out the push rods either that's nice martin says that this game is coming to ps4 and xbox on june 25th that is honestly i'm surprised because this has been out i think since 2017 so yeah All right, there we go. They need multiplayer, I know, but I don't know what they would do for multiplayer in here. It's just having two people working on the same thing. Hey, look at that. This block here is green, too. That's that's good. 
All right, let's see if we can start adding in some performance parts here. So let's go to the performance shop and we're just gonna do, this is what I do guys. I just type in I4, uh, I think it's the C version. Let me double check. Yeah, I4 C and then you just buy everything through here. So, oh no. I don't think there's anything for us to buy in here. What about pistons? Is it regular pistons? Okay, yeah, at least we can buy regular pistons, but geez. All right. Let's go with four of these bad boys. We're probably just going to be going back and forth between the shop a lot, just because I don't really know what we need. At least I don't know yet. So I know I need these, and then we'll, we'll see what we need from here. Okay, yeah, we're going to be pulling a lot of stuff out of here. Okay, so here's the I-4... C camshaft. Uh, here is our engine head, which we will need. Yeah, I don't think this is going to come out that fast, guys. I think this, I don't even know if this is going to break, uh, I don't even think this is going to break the horsepower that we thought it was going to break. I mean, I'm very curious to see what we end up pulling in the end here. Then we need, what is this, three crankshaft caps and four rod caps. All right, let's get our crankshaft caps. No, three, four rod caps. There was a performance part head. Are you sure, German? Or gamer man? Not German man. Gamer man. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, no, that's engine head C. Not, qu it's close. I mean, I don't think it'll work. We'll, we'll, we'll try, don't worry. I'll be cross-checking it every single time we have a new part. All right, let's get our rod caps in here. Half past midnight in the UK, George. Well, thank you for tuning in that late. I didn't realize it was that late for everybody else. I was going to say, where I live right now, guys, I live in Iowa, as I guess some of you may know. Um, but yeah, it's only 6.30 for me right now. 6.28, which is not too shabby. Pretty late, though. It's a pretty late stream. All right, we'll do the I4C this time. We can pick up some parts that we need. So we'll pick up oil pan, oil filter base. Ooh. Let's see if we have an I-4, and we don't have an I-4C oil filter, actually, we already checked. A lot of you guys are an hour ahead of me. Oh yeah, Cali, two hours behind. 128 in South Africa. Holy crap. 128 AM or PM. Are you doing this for the Jeep military? This is going to be for the Jeep civilian, the Willys civilian, but uh, I think it'll end up being, it's based, I think it looks the same. One has the canopy, one doesn't, uh, like I said before, so it's pretty similar. All right, we need to get both arms for this. That's an, what was that arm? It was a an I6B arm A and an I6 arm, okay. Let's see, let's see now, I6 we get arm A and arm B here. I think we bought the right ones. Yes. All right. Good. So yeah, where this thing lacks in uh, overall parts needed, it makes up for it, and all the side pieces needed. All right. Let's go check here. Fuel filter. Hey, look at that, guys. You can pick up a fuel pump for this. I mean, it definitely doesn't match the build very well, but hey, you guys want it. We're going for we're going for just pure horsepower, so we're trying the best here. And let's grab ourselves a 
power steering pump, I6B. Let's grab ourselves an alternator. I don't know what alternator it is. I think it's the I6B one. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. See, we're I think we're at maybe 10% additional horsepower right now. Okay, so let's see. Let's get cam gear I6B and the water pump. Wait, we were on it right here. And then, do we have a water pump here that I'm missing? Yes. Oh, it's the I4. See, that's one of the worst parts. I think I've talked about this multiple times, is how they mix I6 and I4 parts quite often. Uh, definitely throws an issue in. Water pump for an I4C. Uh, will I do a console version of this when it comes out? I probably won't because the console version is not uh, as easily moddable as the PC version. So there's just so, so much more like possibilities basically is what I'm trying to say with this version over the console version, which is not only the reason I play it, but it definitely helps contribute to that reason. Uh, where was I looking for that cover at? There she is. And we still got to do the whole suspension. Crankshaft pulley for a V8. Uh, what's up, Blood Shadow? Pretty good, pretty good. Slap this one in, and then we need a pulley, which we still don't have. Let's see, water. Then I'll type this in again, because I think we'll be able to find this in here. Uh, I foresee. See if we have that water pump belt in here. We don't. Okay, we'll find it later. So it's the I6B. Okay, I6B water pump. Circuit belt, there it is. Is it? Yeah, that should be it. All right, so, okay, here, I'll do the, the back end here really quick. And then ignition coils and ignition distributors, and then we should be should be good to go into the top end where we'll, we'll start putting a lot of the power in the top end. Um, a lot more of the parts for that. Oh, we typed a flywheel wrong. So let's give ourselves a flywheel. Clutch. Let's get the clutch plate, clutch pressure plate. And then uh, we're going for the ignition coil B. And then we need the distributor and the distributor cap. And I think the cap was a special cap, so we're going to wait on that one. Coil B, flywheel, clutch plate. Okay, I mean, I may have stand correct. We might be able to break 100 horsepower in this video, guys, but I'm still not betting on it. Let me just say that. Uh, here, let me throw the rest of this distributor on here. Oh, wait, was that a performance part? Or did I mess that up? I messed that up. Is this the correct rotor? Hey, it is. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I've ever put the correct rotor in. I don't think I have, actually. What? Um... I think we have that cap. Yes, we do. Okay, and then we need two clip Bs. Yeah, we need two clip Bs. We gotta go to our regular main shop for this. You don't think 100 horsepower is doable with this engine? Even fully built? Mm. I gotta admit, I'm kind of iffy on it. Oh wow, that is a lot of screws. 
And yes, I just put this engine head on upside down. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Um, all right, I think we're good now to flip it. All right, so yeah, you guys can clearly see looking at this thing, all the performance parts are obviously highlighted in red. So there's that at least. We'll grab our release bearing here real quick. Just buy 100 clip Bs and As. I know, I should. I need to figure out if they store easily though. Let's see now. I4, C, and then really quick, we're gonna go cross check this in here one more time. <sighs> yep, nope, there's nothing else in here for that. So we'll grab our manifold from here. When is the stream ending? The stream is probably gonna end when we finish this Jeep. So probably another half an hour, I'd say. Intake manifold. That's the exhaust. There it is. You've previously built it with performance parts and it's around 50. Is it around 50 horsepower gain or is it around 50 horsepower total? An I6 carb. Let's grab this really quick and this. No, what? The I4C. It keeps messing up. I keep wasting money. Granted, it's not that big of an issue. Uh, no, uh, Panda, there was no uh, performance cap, sadly. Air filter cover for I4BC. Air filter cover. There it is. 50 total. That's weird. This thing, uh, it does 60, I think 60 stock. So you should not be at 50 total. You should be at more than that. All right, there we go. So now I think we can do performance carb. It's an I six carb. All right, sweet. And then we'll have, let's see here. We'll have an, performance filter on this air filter cover for an okay so it's just the i4bc okay that's fine uh what am i building i am building a jeep willys civilian and it has an i4 in it okay so now it's time to slap on our spark plugs and then i think it'll just be wires uh that'll just tack on here no ignition coils or anything like that Push, yeah, since we have the distributor, duh. Yeah, it's it's quote, quote, a civilian Jeep, but it definitely does not look like a civilian Jeep. So, yeah. So, we need the I4C wires. Uh, yes, Exiled, I am from America. Uh, what was I typing in? I4C. Oh, I'm in the performance shop. That's why I can't find anything I'm looking for. I foresee wires. There we go. Yep, looks like that. Yeah, Charles, I think it'll probably be around around 100. I don't know. You can't really just like take a look at this and say what it's going to be. Serpentine belt B for the I6B. Um, let's see here. I six B and then scroll down and find serpentine belts sideways. Oh, there's the radiator fan I was looking at earlier. I was like, I have no idea how they're going to say radiator work. The radiator can work without a fan on here. It's just cause this thing was completely torn apart. Okay. Do I like this build? I do like this build very like the super interesting builds. Um, I do enjoy a lot more than like the just the straight V8 builds. They're fun and all, but honestly, that's really a lot of what I do. So these are nice. These are pretty fun. Nice to do. Um, we'll pop the sucker off. I think it's ready to go. It matches pretty good, minus the red. All right, let's slap some good old good old motor oil in here. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, I'm trying to think. We can't even, no, we shouldn't even try and start this yet. I was going to say, should we try and start this? No, 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 no. That would be an issue. Radiator C. All right. There we go. That is done. Uh, really quick. We're going to go over here. Yep, some good old soup oil. These are the Jeep wheelies. We're going to de-rim or de-wheel all these rims and hopefully we can save some money. And then we'll wait for that. I'll pop that in the air. Yeah, I still need to slap a, slap, slap, slap a gearbox on there. I'm going to get all these wheels uh, de-beaded and ready to go so that we can just put them right on. And we got to buy new tires anyways. And these are just the regular off-road tires, I think. Yeah, those are just regular off-roads. Gamer man, you want me to do a Cadillac Escalade? Oh, I don't know if they have... I don't think they have Escalades in here. I'll check it, but I don't think they have it. Uh, no, we're going to stick with these rims. Alright, so we saved... We saved three rims, actually, guys. Um, let's go find them. They should have transported all the way down here to the bottom. Yep, so we saved three. So it's a 16 inch and the off-road tire is a 205.75. Let's remember that really quick. 205.75. 205. Alright. 205 profile 75. We'll get four of those. rims and then we're going to get a jeep willies rim 16 inch one good to go adam the escalate is a mod oh okay i'll have to check it out then you saw it in the steam workshop yeah then it, okay yeah then i will definitely do it soon then i do still i have a list of quite a few uh cars and trucks to work on let me check here i know i have like a list on my wall here i still have a holden a9x to do an 83 ford bronco coming up here soon also a bugatti uh a european tow truck actually guys i've found a european tow truck that i'm gonna do oh, i should be balancing these while i do this a 1962 chevy truck adrian i think that's like the Smith one that we already have. There we go. Pop this one off. Okay, two more. Two more. Will I do a Focus RS? I think they might have Focus RS in here, actually. Okay, there we go. We're almost done here. Uh, let's see. While I wait for that one to mount really quick, we're going to get this. We're going to buy a new gearbox is what we're going to do. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't want to have to buy another one. Uh, custom I4C. Look at that. At least we have custom gearboxes in here. Um, am I going to do any more videos with the squad? Yes, I do still plan on doing some more videos with the squad. Um, it's honestly just whenever he asks me, though. Because uh, I don't regularly play Farming Sim right now. Um, so it's pretty much whenever he needs somebody to uh, record with him, I hop in there and we, we can make a video. So yeah, it's usually whenever he, uh, he needs somebody. Alright. These are all good. We're gonna go through our parts list. Hold on, let's see if we can repair anything real quick. Nope, okay. We're gonna go through and sell all of our bad condition parts to 50%. All right, question. Can you check the oil with the dipstick? You cannot. You cannot. I do not play Roblox either, uh, Anthony. I did do a newer Dodge truck earlier, Chief Noah. Uh, well, here's a here's a newer Dodge truck right here. Uh, here's a Dodge Ram, and the, I also did. I think it was a was it a fifteen hundred, a fifteen hundred, a thirty five hundred. One of the two I did. 
um, in one of the most more recent videos. All right, now that this is all done, we're gonna tear apart the suspension. Honestly, la uh, blah, 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 what was I gonna say? The suspension is probably my most hated part to do in this game, uh, just because the sheer amount of repetition in this is this. It's so repetitive. Desmond, you want me to do a 77 Ford F250, either super lifted one or the resto mod or drift one? I could probably check and see if they have, uh, what is it? What is, what is it, what was it called? They have, I'm pretty sure they have a super lifted one. I'm pretty sure they have a super lifted one. I think it's a rally backer F250. So like, that's the tow truck one that I did way back. I'm pretty sure they have a rally backer version of that. So I could check it out, yes. Uh, let me drop this off. Yeah, I'll have to check it out and see if I can find one in the junkyard here soon. Adam, he, I got the money from the... Uh, yeah, I got the, all the money I have right now, the 2.3 million I have. It was... I got 2.49, I think, million dollars from uh, the Lamborghini Centenario I did before. It... Yeah, it was just insane. It just gave me a ton of money. It costs probably close to five hundred thousand dollars, or six hundred thousand dollars, including the price of the uh, car itself, to uh, build it. But boy, was it worth it! Uh, Jordan Fleming, how did I meet the squad? Um, short story here: uh, me and the squad are actually childhood friends. So we have known each other all of our lives. We've lived in the same town all of our lives. We go to the same college. Um, so yeah, we've just known each other a very, very long time. That's why we know each other. Zachary Albert, you can see if the dipstick is full by checking it. I feel like that is true. I just haven't done that in a very, very long time. I usually all end up just dumping the oil or doing new. There we go. Oh, yeah, suspensions. They're all the same. And at least it's, uh, what do you call it? Both leaf spring suspension. I hate doing the, uh... I mean, I guess I won't say I hate. I mean, honestly, the double wishbone suspension in a lot of the newer uh, trucks and cars on here, it's a lot easier because it's like a three-piece. Uh, the leaf spring is a one, two, three, four, five, six-piece. Six-piece. Uh, you want me to stream this game more, gamer man? Uh, after this stream, I might, I might stream it more. I don't know if I'll do it weekly. Um, just because it's a little bit more difficult with my schedule at the current moment just with uh like i have summer classes starting up and all that stuff so i mean it's pretty much whenever i find time which is one of the reasons i was going to stream yesterday but I, I didn't have enough time to stream um so i pushed it back today as you guys can see all right there we go Fully finished on tearing that thing apart. Now I'm just gonna go through and repair everything. Uh, Chief Noah, is there a Chevy Tahoe? There's not a Chevy Tahoe, but there is a newer Charger, I think. No, it's a Challenger. There's a newer Challenger. Okay, so we need a leaf spring rear drive axle. I'm just gonna buy this one right now. Do I know where the oil cap is on a Porsche V10? It's gonna be somewhere on one of the heads or on the very top of the motor. That's all I know. So we need housing B. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sweet, we repaired all of the leaf springs. 
We paired all of these spring plates. Two, four, six. So we need one leaf spring U bolt. We need a shock absorber B. Okay. I got this leaf spring U bolt. Um, and then a shock absorber B for the rear. Then we're going to do two front shock absorber Bs because I know we're going to need those. Say so this stream's coming up on 50 minutes here now, guys. It's quite a while. So, yeah, when I stream, I usually stream for uh, longer periods of time. Probably like one, two hours. Probably no more than one and one and a half. Uh, sweet, we saved the cylinder. Let's get that last over bushing on. I don't want to miss that piece. Now we're going to hop over to the other side really quick. I hate doing one full side at like at a time just because I feel weird when I leave the whole side empty over here. I like doing the leaf springs first, the shocks, then I do one side and then the next. All right, we're bushing's good. Then I think we're missing the yeah, we're missing the other knuckle housing. Knuckle Knuckle housing B. There it is. How many cars am I doing today? I'm probably just going to be doing this one. Just because this one alone takes me... Uh, takes me some time. I think this one alone is going to probably take me an hour and a half-ish. I don't need some new drums. We'll buy two new drums. Break drum. No, we need four. Four of those. Two shoes. There we go. Sweet. There we go. There's one tire on the rear. We're going to slap this drive shaft in real quick since we're right here. Let me make sure we change that seat out that's above us. It's looking a little bit, a little bit rough. Let me do a GT3 RS. Are you talking the Porsche GT3 RS? Is that what it is? It's a Porsche, isn't it? V8. Okay, so we need a V8 overhead valve muffler. It's a tuning shop. Let's see. Dwayne Martin wants me to do a 1969 GTO. They have a GTO judge in here that I'm actually going to do. So don't you worry. We will definitely be doing one here soon. Um, middle muffler. Okay, there we go. We do need a new fuel tank. But while we're... Actually, I think we already have a spare fuel filter. A performance one, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think... I don't know if they have the GT3 RS in here. They might, though. There's a lot of Porsches in this game. So there might be. I'll have to check it later, though. All right, let's see how this looks. Yep, we did have a performance one. All right, so the rear end is done. Take a step back and look at it. All right, looks good. Front drive axle I, is that what that was? Front drive axle I. Um, yeah, uh, Chief, I'll do the, uh, I'll definitely do probably the Challenger. I'll probably do like a back-to-back -back video, like old Challenger versus new Challenger. Do I have a bunch of tie rods? I don't. Dang it. Do I have the S2000 mod? I don't. I do not have the S2000 mod. I've usually tried to find more trucks and stuff like that in this game. Uh, just because I find those a lot more fascinating sometimes. 
Let's see. Knuckle earring. Wow, we saved both of them. Okay, so we need all the tie rods. Uh, Adrian, yeah, I was gonna do a McLaren soon. There is a there is a uh, there is a McLaren that I do have my eyes on. Uh, wheel hub four. Two of those. A, we save both drive axles. All right, then we're gonna need the cylinder. I'm getting excited here. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. All we gotta do last would be hook up the starter and transfer case, and we're good. Make sure we have all these pieces good to go. Yep. All right, let's get this shock absorber in. Right, we're missing our knuckle E. Fascination with trucks is an American thing. I do think I have to agree with you on that. It definitely is. Definitely not nearly as common in other places. Last wheel hub in there. What am I missing here? Oh, it's this knuckle E ring. Oh, can't forget these rubber. Did I get that other one? I didn't. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. I always miss these rubber uh, bushings. Adrian, do they have a Tesla mod? They might. I'm not sure, though. They might have one. Um, we need the I4C front axle. Where are we at? Where are we at? Front exhaust, not axle. Front exhaust. Okay, what else? What else? Front drive shaft. And then I think it's just the starter, which is only accessible from the engine bay. Let's check the status here real quick. 96%. What are we missing? A seat. Leafs. Oh, we missed the leaf spring over here, didn't we? Hey, we did. That's why I always check that, guys. That's why I always check that. All right, probably 97. This probably makes it 98. Starter and seats will be 99 and 100. All right. Let's pop this sucker down. I think we have a starter in our inventory already. I'm not going to do it yet, but we'll see. No, we don't. <laughs> I was wrong. I was literally blanking there for some reason. I was like, I don't know. Okay. There we go. 99. Give me this seat. No. Disassemble. Yes. Okay. Alright, we'll have to buy this seat then. Interior shop. I don't even know if this thing is meant to take a bench in the back. I don't... We'll see. Oh, it is. Okay. And then, what was the front steering wheel it asked for? Just any steering wheel? Alright, any steering wheel will do. Another one of these. Another one of these. Um, A little bit of a military-esque wheel, I think is what we're going for. Uh... Not the Typhoon wheel. I think this one looks good. Super simple. Uh, 
There we go. Yeah, that fits very well. Okay, there we go. Uh, we are almost done. We have one last piece to put on the battery, which... Are we missing the battery, actually? Oh, we didn't take it out. That's why. All right, there we go. I always do the battery first. I messed up this time, guys. All right, we're going to leave the battery on there. We're going to let that charge. And while we let that charge, we're going to get this thing painted. Close the top. All right, I hope we can keep the camo paint job because that would be absolutely amazing. Okay, so right here. Oh, sweet. There's a ton of... Holy crap, guys. There's a ton of paint jobs on this thing. Okay, let's get a good up-close one. So, this one will be good. So, our paint jobs are... So, we have like a digital camo. Okay, guys, we're going to go through it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you numbers, and I'm going to say what it, what it is, and then you're going to say whether or not you want it or not. And whichever, one ha whichever number has the most comments in the comment section, I will do that paint job, all right? So, one is the digital camo. Two is what we had before. It's just a nice green army camo. Three is the same thing with the star. Four is all green with the star. Five is all green with the black star. Six is desert camo. Seven is desert camo with the star. Eight is another just regular military camo, and that's it. All right, let's see what you guys say. So we got a lot of twos. We got a lot of threes. I think it's a tie right now for two and three. Okay, there's three. Yeah, I think. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a lot of. Okay, so I think it's an overwhelming three. Yep, yep, yep. It's an overwhelming three, which is cool. I mean, it's great. This is a six, six skin that we can slap on this. Uh, let's see now. What do we want to do? Livery? Probably Matt. Matt looks the best. Matt. Yeah, Matt gives it gives it the most uh, most color, I think. All right, guys, here we go. There is our paint job. That screams just like straight military right here. I don't know how they could say this is civilian at all. This is definitely military. The only difference is you don't have this back little thing here. But guys, there we go. It is almost complete. What are we missing? Oh, the battery still. Okay, yeah. Uh, there we go. It is almost done. Let me move it back real quick. We'll slap that battery in there, and then it should give us our final little uh, little price there. Who grabbed the battery? Didn't we? Yeah. All right. Slap the battery in. And guys, the Jeep Willys Civilian Edition is done. Uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Twenty-seven thousand dollars total for this thing, not too bad, I must say so myself. Fully restored. Um, it is now the time of the hour that you have all been waiting for. I've been waiting for. It's Dino time. I am betting a hundred horsepower, guys. I think it's gonna hit a hundred. Let's close this. Just so you guys remember, stock is sixty horsepower. Okay. Um, Pretty sure my mini scooter gets more than that, but you know, whatever. All right, dino testing. Here we go. Everybody, put in your votes now, and then I will start it. So we got 94, 100, 95, 97, 80, 96, 102, 120. Ooh, George Meyer, you're going a little high there. All right, guys, ready? Here we go. Ooh, it's got 4x4. Look at all those wheels turning on their own. Alright, let's see what this little guy can do. It's probably not going to even hit 100. Oh my gosh. It... Oh. <laughs> oh no! We only did 82! Oh, that's so bad. No! We put so much money into that too. Oh, that's so bad. Why was that so terrible? I guess it does only multiply your horsepower by a percentage. So yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, some of you guys out there were correct. 82 on the dot. Wow. Dang, that sucks. I mean, I don't even want to try and take this on the off-road course because I don't even think it would probably move very well. Okay, let's drop this off. Wow, that was a... Uh, that's a rough one, guys. What is that? 2,700 with 82 horsepower. You know... It, yeah, it definitely won't go up the hill, Frost Giant. It 100% can't go up any any hill. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think we're going to end the stream here. It was pretty good. It was pretty fun. I'm definitely going to be doing more streams in the future here. Um, I would do a second car star killer, but I just I have to go eat food. I haven't ate dinner yet, so I need to go eat. Uh, yeah, Chief Noah, this is, I think this is the lowest horsepower we've ever done. I think this might be the lowest horsepower you could ever do. Um, yeah, yeah, this is, this is bad, actually, this is, this is not great, but it was a fun one, though, it's definitely, like, one of those, uh, more of, like, an antique, antique car, uh, but yeah, guys, we're gonna end it here, thank you all for watching, if you guys enjoyed it, though, make sure you leave a like down below, uh, it was good seeing all you guys, I will hopefully see you all in the next live stream, um, I guess you just gotta, like, stay tuned in the videos, or put on your, uh, what is it called ring the bell put on that push notification so when i do post a live stream you guys can see that i know about 17 of you saw that earlier which is pretty nice so yeah uh but yes guys thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next car mechanics simulator video